Yo, what's up friends? In the last video, we got our 1976 Toyota Chinook fully mounted to our 80 series rolling chassis. It was a monumental day for us and we are full speed ahead on getting this thing running and rolling for our Pan America trip from Vancouver to Argentina. Stay tuned because this is going to be a big update on what we've got going on and what's coming up next. Oh yeah, Toyota World Rose, I think. Yeah, pull up, uh, pull up ahead. So the engine we're putting in this Chinook is a Toyota 3.4 liter V6, the 5VZ. FE. So this motor only came in IFS vehicles, independent front suspension. But because our Chinook is solid axle, we need to change the oil pan. The original oil pan from this for an IFS vehicle picks up the oil from the front of the engine. But because our solid axle is in the way, I need to switch it to a rear oil pan, which is what we got going on right here. So now this oil pan will not come in contact with our solid axle. It'll sit back there instead of interfering up here. All right, we just confirmed that the engine is going to clear the hood. It's also going to clear the bell housing, so our transmission is going to fit without modifying anything. The exhaust is going to work, which is great. The only thing is we're, our alternator is a little bit close to the steering pump. I can get about a credit card in there, and we're a little close. I think we'll have to modify the oil pan, but we got measurements for the new engine mounts. So I'm going to pull it out, clean up the frame, and we're going to make some new engine mounts and get this thing mounted up. So to mount this here 3.4, we're gonna need some motor mounts. Good thing I know a guy. Just like that. Finally, after an exhaustive amount of hours, we have engine mounts that are gonna work. They're tacked, tacked together right now. We're gonna weld them together, bolt them in place, confirm for the millionth time that they're gonna work fine. And we're gonna tack them in, put the engine on its weight, drive off into the sunset. And we're gonna start by welding these plates I cut out where the old motor mounts went, and then we'll weld our new motor mounts to this plate. So time for more very important logs. That looks good, Jay. All right, mounts are tacked in. Well, let's find out if it's gonna hold or fall to the ground. <laughs> okay, it's on its weight now. Oh man, that is not ideal. Overall, we had to take the engine out, I think five times for me to cut and lift the mounts and also to grind off the old mounts. At this point, the oil pan is extremely close to the differential and we're trying to do whatever we can to make that clearance work. All 
right, 3.4 is in the Chinook and it more or less fits. So now it's time to bring it out and make all these mounts permanent. Awesome news, we don't have to buy new rims. It's all backdated. So now that the motor is in, I have the fantastic, enjoyable task of figuring out how to make it run. <laughs> Yay, wiring. <laughs> I'm gonna teach Stacy how to rebuild the axles. Yeah, so that'll be fun. I get to learn a lot about brakes as well. Yeah, so if anything goes wrong. Yeah, it's my fault entirely. <laughs> but if the body falls off, then it's his fault. And if the motor falls through, it's his fault. <laughs> I just will be the reason we can't stop. Right, well, yeah, literally the biggest hurdle we have to overcome right now is the darn oil pan. But with a lift, moderate lift, and a very custom clearance job on the oil pan, I think we'll be mint. We're gonna take off the valve covers, clean those. We look forward to bringing you an adventure video next week. Yeah, we're going on a rescue mission. We are going on a rescue mission. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you guys watch us. <laughs>